When I go out and talk with organizations about big data, I tend to meet three kinds of people. Think of them as archetypes. The first group represents the IT department, the faithful stewards of data. These are sort of the defenders of the realm. They keep your data safe and reliable. The second group are the data scientists, and these are a relatively new force. They're tasked with sort of achieving victory, you know, extracting value from data and using it to crush the competition, whether that competition is actually business competitors or deadly viruses or criminal syndicates. And overseeing both of these is, of course, management, which, uh, despite sometimes changing its goals on a whim, has generally been very supportive of our big data efforts uh, and is really relying on big data and expecting us to win. So management has been sending IT and data scientists off on what they like to call a big data journey, sort of a quest, if you will. Uh, the data scientists are empowered to go and seek advantage and pursue victory. IT is given at really an exciting promotion, stewarding more data, affecting more vibrant and strategic parts of the organization. And so these two start on their big data journey. And many things happen, often too many things, sometimes confusing things, incomplete, even contradictory things. The road is not straight. The end is not always in sight. And uh, the quest leads to questions. So typically, the IT folks are the first to get worried. They begin to ask the kinds of questions they've always asked, very, very basic questions, very fundamental ones, like, what is truth? And uh, once we have truth, what do we know? Well, I love this. Sort of the professor in me gets all excited, and internally I have a dialogue. I get, this is very exciting. This is the kind of question we should ask. Philosophical questions, ontological and epistemological questions about what, what is true and what can we know, and it's very exciting. Um, but I usually put my businessman hat back on very carefully, and I say, well, well what do you mean? And uh, the uh, IT folks will say, well, for example, what is truth? We have a customer. His name is Bob Smith. He lives at 101 Berkeley Place. Okay? We have this other customer, and his name is uh, Robert Smythe, and he lives at 101 Berkeley Close. Are they the same? Or riddle me this. We brought in such and such an amount of revenue last year. How much of it is taxable? Within what country? I know, the IT knight, I know that the truth exists. I just need to compile it and protect it. And IT is persistently in search of the master data the single source of truth. That's a common phrase you get from IT folks. So I went ahead as an aside and Googled the single source of truth. It isn't Google, actually. That's a hard, a hard source for one truth. But there is a Wikipedia entry for the single source of truth. And you will notice that this is not in the philosophy section of Wikipedia. Okay, But here's the key aspect of the definition. Every data element is stored exactly once. Well. That's a rather practical notion of truth, you might say. It's uh, understandable. Of course, it's not always so simple to do in the real world. In fact, as you probably know, compiling a single source of truth for the enterprise is very expensive and very time consuming. It costs years and it takes millions of dollars to try to do one of these things. Okay? Yet, this is really what IT seeks. They seek the holy grail of data integration. Right? This is what they're after. Well, if you ask the data scientists about truth, they will come in and they'll say to you, don't talk to me about truth. It doesn't interest me. I'm not interested in truth. What I've got, though, is better than truth. I've got a lake full of data. And with enough data, I'm sure I can extract value and guarantee victory. Okay? So the warrior is sort of in search of opportunity, of value, by conquering these large new sources of data. And you know, the IT person's in search of the holy grail, the single source of truth. These two parties are philosophically disconnected. They do not agree on what the truth is. They don't even agree whether the truth exists. This makes the big data journey very difficult, 